the inverses of uh, the function by with an example. So suppose the problem is let the function f from r to r defined by f of x y is equal to x y such that y is equal to m x plus b. Here we call x as an input y as an output and the ordered pair will be x y such that given x y can be obtained by using the equation y is equal to m x plus b. So this is an equation of a line all of you as you know it where m comma b belongs to r then find f inverse. So this is the question is you have been given with uh, x you find y with the y is equal to mx plus b. So how do we find f inverse that is nothing but given y how do you find x what is the pre image. <coughs> so the how do you find here is the solution that is for m b belongs to r. See if m is not equal to 0 then this function which is defined by f is equal to x y such that y is equal to m x b plus b is an invertible function because when m equal to 0 you will not be having inverse other that is why we have considered m is not equal to 0 then only it is invertible function because it is 1 to 1 and on to. So since the function is 1 to 1 and on to so then only you can check you can find that the inverse of that function. So how do we find the inverse we know here so f inverse is equal to so x comma y such that y is equal to mx plus c mx plus b the converse so converse is obtained by just interchanging x and y so x y such that y is equal to mx plus b and now here we are interchanging this y x to x y so since we are interchanging this so here whatever the equation you had replace x by y and y by x so here in place of y I write x and in place of x I write y. So here x is equal to my plus b which is nothing but an ordered pair x comma y such that what is y you will get y is equal to if you uh, transfer this b towards here then x minus b divided by m. So therefore y is equal to 1 by m into x minus b. So this is how I have to find the inverse of that function. So here you have the same. So here uh, for finding the, the order pair for the inverse is obtained by interchanging uh, by transferring this towards the left. So it is y minus b divided by m. So that is why here because you are uh, interchanging the variables. So y will be equal to 1 by m into x minus b. So x will be the input and y will be the output in the inverse. So this is where we rename the variables here we are going to rename replacing x by y and y by x in order to change the components of the order pairs of f x f. So f is a function from r to r is defined by f of x equal to mx plus b and f inverse of r to r is defined by f inverse of x is equal to 1 by m into x minus b. So this is how you have to find the inverse of the function given the equation. So next we will see the how we can represent using the graph for the same here. Uh, it is the function is defined by e to the power of x where e you all of you know it it is 2 to 2.7183. So the base for the natural logarithm e is the base for the natural logarithm. So from this graph this is the equation for the uh, e power x. So here we see that f is 1 to 1 and 1 to 1. So according to this function, we can see it is uh, 1 to 1. e power x is uh, function is 1 to 1 and on to. So that is therefore the inverse exists and this inverse will be x comma y such that y is equal to e to the power of x converse. The converse is above. Then it is nothing but if you converse if you are interchanging x by y so you will get x is equal to e to the power of y which is nothing but x comma y such that y is equal to ln of x that is if you take the natural law ln so you will get uh, y is equal to ln of x therefore f inverse of x is equal to ln of x this is f and this is a f inverse this is the function e power x and this is the function ln of x. 
suppose uh, for other functions how do we find the inverses we will continue so let the function f from r to r defined by f of x equal to 3x plus 1 find f inverse so here nothing but this this will be y y minus uh, 1 will be equal to 3x so y minus 1 divided by 3 so here uh, that is you have to replace the variable so you will get x minus 1 divided by 3 so f inverse of x will be y x minus 1 divided by 3 here we are giving x as the input so the output will be obtained by the, uh, using this equation y will be equal to x minus 1 divided by 3 next is x square plus 5 find f inverse of b you can observe here the domain is an integer if it is r it is not uh, uh, 1 to 1 therefore the domain is here is z so you can first make sure that this function is 1 to 1 and on to then only you go for finding the inverses so now suppose b is equal to 6 that is nothing but for the r uh, containing 6 so what will be the pre major so how do we find here is f inverse of x is equal to x belongs to z that is for some integer this 6 has been mapped so such that f of x is equal to 6 so because we know that we want to find for 6 we are equating f of x equal to 6 so we know that f of x is equal to x square plus 5 so that is x square plus 5 is equal to 6 so if x, x square plus 5 is equal to 6 which implies that x square is equal to 1 and this is nothing but which implies x is equal to plus or minus 1 so therefore f inverse of uh, 6 will be equal to plus or minus 1. So, this is the element, these are the elements which are mapped to the uh, set b is equal to 6. This is when b is a single element. Now, suppose b is a range of values. So, here it is 6 comma 7 because here it is a range is a real number between 6 and 7 in that case how do we find the inverse so f inverse of uh, 6 comma 7 will be equal to x belongs to z such that f of x belongs to 6 comma 7 which is nothing but f of x is nothing but uh, x square plus 5 lies between 6 and 5 therefore f inverse of uh, 6 comma 7 will be equal to uh, x belongs to z such that 6 less than or equal to x square plus 5 less than or equal to 7. So, because here at the center we have x square plus 5, we had to subtract 5 from the whole equation. So, if you subtract 5 from 6, you will get 1 and subtract 5 from here, you will get x square and subtract uh, 5 from uh, 7, you will get 2. So, which indicates that uh, x square lies between 1 and 2. So, which indicates that your x lies between and because we know that x is an integer, therefore x must be uh, in the range from 1 and 2, that is 1 and 2. So, this is 1, this is 2, suppose x square lies between 1 and 2. So, here we know that x will be equal to plus or minus 1. But it has to be between, because it is uh, saying that x lies, x square is between 1 and 2. So, x could be plus or minus 1. Because if you take the square root of 1, you will get 1. And if you take the square root of 2, you will get 1.4. But we know that this uh, uh, r is mapped to an integer. So, it will be only the x will be equal to plus or minus 1. Only left side is valid. The right side will again uh, it will be point, 1 point uh, something so which is uh, not an integer so only from the left hand side that is uh, x square is greater than or equal to 1 we come to know that x will be equal to plus or minus 1. So these are some additional problems so here f of x is equal to x square plus 5 and here again uh, the range is 6 and 10 so it is the same way previous what we have done here it is 6 uh, less than or equal to x square plus 5 less than or equal to 10 again subtracting 5 from uh, the whole equation you will get 1 less than or equal to x square less than or equal to 2 so less than or equal to 5 so here x square is between 1 and 5 this is 1 this is 5 so if you apply this you will get x square uh, 
greater than or equal to 1, you will get x equal to plus or minus 1. If you apply x square is less than or equal to 5, and what are the integers for which x square is less than or equal to 5 will be 1 plus or minus 2. So, in this case, you can observe the answer is 4 values that is plus 1, minus 1, plus 2, minus 2. So, these are the four elements which are having the uh, uh, range in the range from 6 to 10. So, likewise here it is inclusive. This bracket is inclusive of the starting and ending value that is lower limit and upper limit. So, whereas here this is a, oh, this is a inclusive and this is exclusive 5. That is why here it is less than 5. Here it is less than or equal to. So, again here uh, subtracting 5 you will get a minus 9 less than or equal to x square less than 0. So, here if you take the left hand side there is no uh, value which gives. So, again if you take this so x square is less than 0 negative value cannot be there. So, x is 5. So, likewise if you do here again here because here it is inclusive. So, x square less than or equal to 0. So, this one yields x equal to 0. Whereas, here you can observe it is x square less than 0. So, which indicates that x is negative. But here x could be 0. So, x could be 0. x square could be 0. It indicates x is equal to 0 will belong to this. That is the difference between this and uh, this bracket. So, when it is uh, this, it is less than. When it is uh, this, it is less than or equal to. Thank you. We will continue in the next video.